Merhaba and hoş geldiniz. This is the Magical Rebecca Me channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going through my Harry Potter background bookshelf. So I've got like four bookshelves full of Harry Potter merchandise that I've collected over the years through the parks or random places like Walmart or even subscription boxes. So let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do that, please feel free to Hit that like button if you like this video all the way through. Hit the com hit a comment or subscribe, and it really helps us out. We appreciate it very much. Um, but yeah, let's get into the background. Hold on one second. All right, all right. So we will start with the Horcrux wall, but we're starting with this ornament that came from a script script subscription box that I got. Um, that was curated by Cherry Wallace, another um, YouTuber. It's a flying key. It's a or Christmas ornament. It was in a Christmas box, but I keep it up year-round because I can, and it's pretty, and it's very, very fun. And it's just, she loves flying keys, so that was in her box, and it's a very beautiful piece. And it fell, so I'll hang that up later. So now we will go to the Horcrux shelf. The Horcruxes are very amazing, beautiful, stunning pieces. So we'll start with Harry here, back here. This came from Walmart. He was on clearance when I got him. He was like three or four bucks by the time I was able to purchase him. Came from like the Barbie section <laughs> at, uh, at Walmart and he seemed like a perfect fit. He stays in the box. Um, most, he stays in the box, um, which is weird because I'm usually an out-of-box collector, but I felt like he was, it was more fitting for him to stay inside the box. And so that's, if you want to see the back of the box, I think it's just a white background, nothing on, oh, it does have information about all of the other dolls that you could collect. So you got Hermione, Ron, Ginny, Albus, Dumbledore, and Minerva McGonagall from that collection, but that was like 2018, 2019 when I got that. Um, next you have Slytherin's Locket. This is probably my most favorite piece here. It has like a mirrored background and, and the box opens up so you can pull it out. It looks like that. It's too hard for me to hold the phone flash camera and open it up at the same time. So if you are interested in seeing me, what it looks like when I open it up, it's just green velvet inside if I remember correctly, but I love the S and like the green stones in the back inside of it. It's my favorite. It's, it's just a stunning, stunning piece. But if, like I said, if you're interested in watching me open it up, then let me know in the comments down below and I will happily do a video for that. Next we have Helga Hufflepuff. Hel I can't talk. Helga Hufflepuff's cup. Um, you've got beautiful black beads that are at at the top of the handles on both sides, on the front and on the back. You have that a badger, and then this beautiful, stunning um, depiction of something. I'm not even sure if you know what that's supposed to be. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm a bad Hufflepuff because I don't know what all of these symbols are. Um, so, but this is the bottom and it goes through the whole thing. I do know that there's wheat that the badger is sitting in and it has wheat on the back as well. Um, yeah, so again it has those two black beads for that particular piece and it's it's a beautiful I do like that do love that piece and then my second favorite from the Horcrux is obviously Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem um it's just stunning you've got an even claw or a raven or an eagle along the top these beautiful stunning shimmery pieces and the dangle pieces and it says on the bottom wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure finishes over here and then the blue jewels it's just a very stunning stunning piece and I keep it up with a black painted 
wooden dowel in the back, otherwise this would be closed. You can't really see the diet see it right now. Maybe if I move this, you can see how I'm there is the magic. Yeah, and then it has a raven claws. Um I think it's blue up top. Or is it black? Oh no, nope, it's black, but you have her um the raven claw crest in the back of it. But yeah, she it's it's a beautiful piece, but that's how I leave it up. Next we have Nagini. Um so this is from the creature collections that comes with this beautiful box to protect, to keep it protected in. She's a beautiful snake, even though I do not like snakes. This is the, these, this is the only form that I can handle snakes in. Um, was when they're fake and plastic, <laughs> but yeah, it's a beautiful piece. I love it. All right, and then you have the ring, Marvolo Gaunt's ring. Uh, again, it's got like. You can see my phone reflecting in the mirror that's back there. Um, uh, and then you, if you look at the top of it, you can s kind of see the Deathly Hallows. You've got, you can kind of see the triangle that represents the Deathly Hallows. And back there, that's also a stunning piece. I like it a lot. And then we have Tom Riddle's diary. So he says Tom Marvola Riddle in the front with the basilisk fang that destroys this horcrux, comes out actually, can be removed. Ta-da! You can see the hole through it. It's a fun piece and then it feels like it, like this part actually feels like it's a book even though it's got the texture of it, but it's resin or plastic or whatever it's made out of, but it's, it's a beautiful piece. So that is the horcrux wall. So next week we will go to the wands. So three of these are legit Harry Potter wands, like from parks or offshoots of parks. But we have Theseus Commander's wand. We have Hermione Granger's wand and Narcissa Malfoy's wand. Now Theseus Commander's wand, um, my mother got that at the parks and I took it with me because... I would get more use out of and enjoyment out of it. So she let me take it with me when I left, but this is the Theseus's wand. And then Hermione Granger's wand and this wand, which is not a character wand. It's just a really cool, beautiful wand that was created. And it was like some Harry, some Harry Potter thing in Salt Lake City. Um, at the time I was in North Carolina when, it ha when this happened, but these were picked up at the day same time and gifted to me for Christmas that year. And then this came from the Universal Studios in California. This one is an interactive wand. This one is not. So I went and did all of the spells in Hogsmeade in California with this wand, and it was a lot of fun. Um, now we have some art pieces back here. This, let me move this out of the way so I can get in there. Okay. So we have um, a letter that came from my prefect from a Hufflepuff themed house, a house themed, I'm Hufflepuff, um, subscription box, quarterly subscription box from the Wizarding Trunk. And it's talking about how uh, there's been some illegal mandrake breeding going on and to talk to your prefect about it. I won't read the whole thing, but it's, it was a lot of fun. And all of the houses got different notes. This came from a Cherry Wallace box as well. This art print of a mandrake. She loves mandrakes, and um, I do too. They're they're hilarious and super fun and gross looking, but also kind of weirdly cute. So, but this is an art print from that. Let's see if it's not. It is signed. Oh, Cherry Wall. It says Cherry Wallace right there. Um, same one. Same awesome person that did that flying key say I don't remember if it was the same box or not but it was something similar so I have this ornament next sorry I know it's all kind of random but we're going I'm trying to move stuff out of the way so I can get to the artwork in the back um so our ornament came from Hallmark is this is like black part from the castle is kind of like rubberized and you have like Harry flying in the back and it's very glittery and blue and just 
a really beautiful piece and I didn't want to hang it on the tree because I liked it where it was. All right, then we'll go through this, go to this one next. Again, this was in that same Hufflepuff themed box for mandrake seedlings for sale. So non-lethal until adulthood earmuffs included in sale. Um, meet at the greenhouse three and bring your own pot and topsoil. So I think that's part of the breeding. Maybe that's part of the breeding, the mandrakes or something. I don't know, but it was funny and I love it. But it's funny because I'm a black thumb. Like I, I'm, I kill plants. I kill succulents even. So <laughs> I try, but it, it, it always ends badly for the plant. So um, we have these little die cuts, uh, wands that are different um, character wands. I'm not going to go through all of them because I can't remember quite all of the characters. I can remember most of them, but there are some that I'm like a little bit unsure of. Also back here are chocolate frog cards. So the pentagonal shaped are legit from chocolate frogs. And then we have little these little rectangular ones that came in the crispy, like, I don't know. It's like, it's a chocolate frog and it's like official Harry Potter, but it's like a smaller version of it. And it's like got crispy pieces in it. It's like a crunch bar almost. So we have Daisy Dotteridge who founded, um, uh, there go my ones, the Leaky Cauldron, um, pub in Diagon Alley. So she's cool. So we have Jocinda's. Jocunda Sykes, Jocunda Sykes, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but she flew across the Atlantic Ocean to America on a broom. So she was like the first person to ever do that. Let me try to put these up. So the rest of these guys you will recognize. So we have these little wands here. Then you have Gilderoy Lockhart, Godric Gryffindor. My girl Helga Hufflepuff. These sad wands that fell down. That was a little tinkling that you heard earlier. Um, then Dumbledore and the other two founders, uh, Romina Ravenclaw and Salazar Slytherin. And I apologize that these fell. It'll take me too long to fix these and make, keep this a shorter video. So I apologize. I'm not going to go through that, but you can kind of see. Th that silver one, there's a silver one and a black one, and that is, um, I'm like pretty sure that's, uh, oh, my mind just blanked, sorry. Uh, Sirius Black's wand, Sirius Black's wand. Um, it's usually black, but they came out with a black and a silver one, and I ended up with a silver one. And those are the rest of the wands. There's the golden trio right there, plus... Golden Trio is right there, so you've got Ron, Hermione, and Harry's wands, and then right there is Luna's wand. Alright, so we'll move on to the next shelf. So I have some keychains here. Uh, even though I'm a Hufflepuff, I'm also kind of... Sometimes I wish I was a Gryffindor, I guess. Um, but I also got this uh, some of this before I was officially a Hufflepuff. Um, including this keychain. So this is a Gryffindor keychain of the cool lion and this pen set, pen and holder set. It's pretty stunning. You've got this cool lion down there. It says Gryffindor on the pen and it is like a legit pen. It's a hefty boy, but you can kind of, there you go. Yeah, that's a pen. So you got Picket back there that came from a typical I think it came from Barnes & Noble. That Rememberal came in a subscription box. Uh, Argus Filch, I would not have purchased for myself. That was a blind box. But he's kind of cute and fun. Um, then this ring, it says H for Hufflepuff. And you got the Badgers on the sides. They both sides look the same. It's got the star. That came in that same Hufflepuff-themed box. House box. And then the Badger... And it also is like a wax, I think it can be used with a wax stamp as well. You have that. And then this key also came in that same box. Um, you've got the 
the cup and your badger and I don't know what this is but it's pretty it's still pretty cool and my camera's not focusing so I will move on sorry about that if you are interested in seeing that better look at that key then again let me let know let me know down in the comments below along with that Slytherin locket all right so this butterbeer cup came from Universal Studios I had a frozen butterbeer that came in it super yummy and delicious so I will get these guys out of the way. The Pygmy Puff. This came from the parks. I liked the smaller version the best, but it does make cute little noises if you squeeze it. I love it. Super cute. And I went with purple. You can get purple or pink from the parks. And I'm not the biggest pink person. This beautiful snow globe came from like Christmas snow globe, but it's the snow falls so very very nicely in it. And then these mugs came, this mug came from a subscription box as well. It says elixir to induce euphoria. You got wands across the top of it. It's super beautiful mug and very iridescent despite bl being blue. And then this is like a heat mug. So when you heat it, you see like the wands doing their, doing magic spells. This cracked me up. This came in uh, another subscription box and it does say Potter Stinks. It's a lenticular bosch tanks and supports the other degree. I love that one. It's hilarious. And then you have a beautiful Death Eater drinking glass that I just use it as a display piece. Came in like a dark arts or a Halloween-y type sub uh, subscription box from the Wizarding Trunk. And a flask for this has constant vigilance. This is supposed to rip Mad Eye Moody. Uh, the time turner, time turner piece. It's beautiful that you actually have sand and it does move around. It's a lot of fun and it flips like a real time turner piece. Uh, I think this also came in Cherry Wallace's one of Cherry Wallace's um things or yeah, came in Cherry Wallace. Has really beautiful art designs on the bottom. It's like green and glittery. Um, and that is representative of Neville's plant. It's super fun. Uh, Demi Guys is my favorite animal. Super fun, super cute. All right, this pygmy puff also came in um, the redheaded, your favorite redheaded family wizarding trunk quarterly box. Also, a pygmy puff. You could get pink, blue, or pink, pink, blue, or purple. I was super excited to get blue because I already had a purple one and I didn't <laughs> wanted a pink one. Um, Demi Guys is my favorite creature, and I love that he's carrying candy canes and like a bunch of stuff around in a bag. He's just a cute, cute creature. So again, I watched a tutorial on how to make a, a house points counter. So you know, Hufflepuff. So Hufflepuff's winning right now. As always, my households. <laughs> um, this beautiful piece, it's a uh, so you can keep your own memories safe in here. Um, I so I put my Universal trip and Disney trip from 2019. That's the that's how I labeled it because that was a beautiful memory that I wanted to keep in my memory th piece. Uh, this is a cool little chess piece that came in a box. Um, a coaster that has the Grim, and on the on the side of it it says, "My dear, you have the Grim." So tragic. <laughs> and then, um, and another. This was, came in an Accio box, and it's like it is a sticker, but I just keep it here. And usually it's standing up, but it won't stay standing up right now. Um, it's print. It come. They usually came in a print from an Accio box, and it says, "Let us step into the night and pursue." That flighty, temptress adventure. And it says Alfric. Al Alvis. Alfric. Wow. It has Dumbledore's like full name at the bottom. Anyway. So that is that shelf. And then we have one last shelf. Thank you for bearing with me. I know that this is a very long video. I apologize. Okay. So now we have potions and various things. So this also came in. The red-headed wizarding family. This represents one of the twins. Um, it says the bruise remover. It's a potion that will 
removes brew, they, the wizarding trunk usually has potions and they always put like a really beautiful charm on there. Whoever brew, like bottles these potions up and it's very beautiful and very stunning. They always have a charm on there and yeah, all these, all of these potions came from the wizarding trunk and you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is fire whiskey. So it's not really a potion. I think fire whiskey is just like a drink. But it looks like there's a potion, and then you get in the back, it like you can kind of see it swirling like it's magical. They do that amazing effect, effect and it's really stunning. Then here you have some troll saliva that was got you got from a troll, and you can see there's the charm on there, it's got this beautiful wax seal on there. There's like an S on the top of the wax seal, and yeah, it just tells you where the tro where the saliva came from, and then you have this, which is Skelligro by Alchemy for the skin. So I think this is actually something that you can actually use for your skin, but I just left it in there and left it as a as an art piece and a thing. And then this is an empty bottle of pumpkin juice, but it's a beautiful piece that's I remember. So that's what pumpkin juice looks like when you buy it from the parks. All right, um, then I have this little Lego set that I built, and it's a beautiful, fun little set of the Triwizard Tournament when they had to battle dragons for the egg. So, which, sadly, the dragon is not standing up very well right now, but then this part came with it, and you got all of the champions from all of the houses all of the schools in there so it's a cute fun little set so you have another key i think this came from like a christmas set but it's got the uh, bow buttons um i think this came from like a christmas subscription box but it has the bow button carriage in there and then these are rock candy pieces that were gifts that for some reason I decided to keep in the box. So they're stayed in the box. These were gifted by a friend. So I've got Voldemort and Dumbledore. And then my last two wands, because I'm a huge Fred and George fan. They're, uh, they're probably one of my most favorite characters in the, in the series. So you have their wands in this beautiful Weasley and Weasley. Thing. And the cool thing about this, if you don't know, is that their wands actually make a broomstick. So you've got the bristles, the bottom part of the broom right there that you actually sweep with. And then the handle wrapped right here. So it's kind of fun that they... That's a little fun fact about these particular wands, that they make a broom. So this is supposed to represent, and it does a beautiful job of representing the Sorcerer's Stone when it was taken from the vault at Gringotts Bank. The stone inside is actually a beautiful red stone, but I like to keep it wrapped up like that because it just makes it more mysterious and super cool. And then this is uh, Mrs. Weasley's clock that she has around the house. Has the house. And if you look closely, it tells you where everybody is. So lost, home, mortal danger, work, school garden wherever they're in transit so those are the options and then this is the clock again this came in the wizarding trunks redheaded family box so that represents mrs weasley molly whom we love and adore so that is my whole background for harry potter so um what was your f so the three things uh that I want you to just tell me about if you want to see, um, oh, I forgot what I was going to have you see. I remember, oh shoot, hopefully you remember. Okay, so I know it was the, stop, the, if you want to see the inside of the locket and the other thing that I wanted, that if you guys want to see, I can show you. Sorry, I can't remember what it is right now. Maybe it was a time turner. I don't remember. Um, and what was your favorite item? Comment on one or two or all three of those things if you remember. And I 
Appreciate you guys for being here. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Gooder shooters!